It's time for the center stage. Face off, is it fair for the South Indian film industry to hold Bollywood stars to ransom? Joining us on the show this evening, leading South Indian actor and politician Sharad Kumar. We've got R. Sriram from the Safe Panels Movement. We've got Sabah Joseph joining us from Colombo, the director of Wiscraft with Anna Medicard, headlines today's associate editor for entertainment. Joins me. My first question to you, Mr. Kumar. Why is it? that the South Indian film industry has come together and wants to hold Bollywood stars to ransom. They've taken a decision. You've got a take on it, which you're entitled to. They've gone to Columbus. There's a lot of charity which is involved. Why are you all trying to get together and hold these stars to ransom? No, I don't think we are holding that. Let's, let's uh, word it different. Let's, we are not holding any stars to ransom and neither uh, we have any ideas of holding any stars to ransom. We are united as brothers and we, uh, we, uh, we like to have some kind of interaction with the Bollywood stars and uh, Amitabh Ji had come down for one of our very big functions over here. Let us not term it as in the hold up for answer. Uh, collectively, uh, there was a meeting, well, of course, I was away in the US. When I came back, uh, they told me the decision that has been taken that uh, none of the stars from the South Indian Film Industry should attend the function. And then they were made request to uh, the Bombay Film Star not to attend because they wanted that the Tamilians over there still are not resettled. So that is the issue which has gone on on this kitchen. And they felt, as brothers in the same industry, we are, of course, interact, many of which are, you know, act in Hindi films and vice versa, uh, technicians working over here. The entire industry, right from the uh, the uh, FFC, the Film Employee Federation of South India, and of course, uh, the Tamil Producers Council, the Artists Association, represented by the General Secretary, Mr. Rana Rabi, all uh, seem to have been present on that particular day. And take an unanimous reason that we will uh, not go there. Okay, that is a decision. Well, not that we have been invited by IFA in any time. No, but you're also saying, you're also saying, Mr. Kumar, that all the Bollywood stars who go and participate in the IFA in Colombo, which has begun this evening, will be boycotted in the South Indian film industry. Well, Isn't that, that is, taking that your that protest a bit too far? No, no, this is not a protest of uh, Sharad Kumar. Let me say, I've got different views. I'm also a politician. I've got different views. I'd like to uh, you know, give my views about it. So that is a cumulative decision taken by the film industry that they have taken that decision. Well, there's a letter written from the other association to the general secretary uh, in my absence. So uh, he wrote a letter to the uh, Mumbai uh, film industry, like SCD and uh, television uh, staff association. We had a reply from them stating that it's the 11th hour, we just can't do anything and the sympathy does lie with us. So I think as, as the president of the Sajjana Mahathir Association, it is quite a satisfactory letter that I saw yesterday when I came back after my shoot in Kerala. When I came back from the US, I went to Kerala State.